When we test spark plug wires, we test them visually and with a no-meter. Visually, we're looking at the wires to see if we have any cracks or melts. If it's melted or cracked, it needs to be replaced. With the ohmmeter, we're trying to measure internal resistance of the wires. This is the Bumblebee wire you saw in our other video. It's a solid core wire, and she should come in with just about no resistance at all, and that's exactly what you see. Now, this cobalt wire here is an RF suppression wire. We saw that in our other video as well. These have to offer a certain amount of resistance to suppress radio frequency. And we take a look at this one. She's coming in at 0.6 ohms. Okay, so there is a difference. Now, what's an acceptable range for an RF wire in your car? Well, there isn't a specific reading because wires change from manufacturer to manufacturer, from style to style. Even the length of the wire affects what the reading should be. So instead of looking for a specific number, you want to take a look at this wire along with the others in your car. If they're all more or less the same, everything is fine. If one of them is off the chart, that wire has a problem. And that's how we test them.